Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of Ballroom Mastery. We're so excited to have you here. Today is the Samba, one of the funnest, also one of the most challenging dancers, but I think you'll find the rhythms are addictive. And this is a shout out to all my Brazilian friends out there. We know this is not the authentic Brazilian Pagorge or any of those other Brazilian Sambas, but uh, we love this dance. It's the international style with its own flavor done to Brazilian Samba music. So get ready to have a lot of fun doing the Samba. Figure names for the basic samba. We take hold, commence with four reverse basics. Followed by a whisk to the left, a whisk to the right, a whisk to the left, a whisk to the right. Now we commence two volters with, we hold a beat and then two slow volters. Now four traveling volters. Change hold to do Samba locks, four of these, and then take hold for crisscross bodofogos into crisscross vaulters. And finishing double hand hold, whisk to the left, whisk to the right. We start off one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. One, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. A one, hold two, a three, hold four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. One, a two and three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, a one, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. <laughs> Figure names for the advanced samba. Take hold. We start off with a 
promenade run, counter promenade run, promenade run, followed by a little zigzag into traveling vaulters. Four of these into a drop, high cross, Botafogo into promenade. A side samba, followed by two crisscross Botafogos. Man does a stationary samba walk, the lady does a solo spot vaulter under the arm. Now, we samba walk into rolling off the arm, first few, three steps. Now, lady's gonna do another turning three step, the man is gonna do a Botafogo. From here, we both do a spot vaulter into the developed whisks to the side and there's a little ronde, replace, develop whisk number two, develop whisk number three, and then continue with your routine. Timing for the advanced samba. Now, the promenade to counter promenade runs are normally dance one, two, three timing. I'm gonna count them one and two, still using the same beat value. So we go one and two, three and four, five and six into the zigzag, a seven, a eight, and a one, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one, two and three, four and five, six and. Now from here, we would normally add a pivot in, I'll put it in, we didn't do it in the routine, seven and eight. And that finishes the timing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for dancing with us today in the Samba. We hope you enjoyed those two very different styles of routines, both showing the unique rhythms within Samba. Remember, as a teaching tip, we have eight different rhythms in Samba. So unlike Cha Cha, where you might count a consistent two, three, four, and one, and then you might add in Wapacha timing or more syncopations, in Samba we have eight different rhythms. So pay attention to your one or two bounce rhythms, your one, two, three timings, which are like an arc, and your slow, quick, quick rhythms, which are your essentially flat or polka rhythms, where there's no bounce or minimal bounce. So pay attention to those, develop them, and love your Samba. This is Vaughn Liddycote, thank you, and thank you, Madeline. Please master the art of ballroom dancing with us and subscribe to the channel above now.